Hey guys, today we're gonna to be talking about taking care of your spouse when you pass away. Uh, this goes for also girlfriends, and if you're single, it's it might this might be a great idea to leave behind uh, a three ring binder on what to do if you pass away. Have it inside your your room or your your house or whatever, so that people can seek you know help when you pass away or whatever, and what to do exactly. And I want to get into this because this here has a lot of good information here. I happened to find this in some documents that I had. Um, and this guy shared this link and it says, since my Philippine wife and I permanently moved to the Philippines in May 2014, I started to put together a three ring binder of items that we should have, have, would have to take care of when I die. I've heard of too many veterans that didn't prepare their spouses ahead of time. And when the spouses end up at a retiree activities office or military veterans group, now this is mostly for veterans, but this here, uh, binder is also for people that aren't veterans so let's you know keep on listening because I know most of this is going to pertain to uh, veterans or whatever um, but some of this does pertain to regular people because it gives you some ideas okay and it says uh, or military veterans group um, VFW and vets DAV etc somewhere in the Philippines crying and asking for assistance as to what you should do and these veterans groups do offer assistance but um, you have to pay them in some cases you have to some of these they, some of them they do it for free but you have to pay them to do some of the services or give them money to finish off the services and if you don't have the money they're not gonna be able to do it for you so the girl has to have some sort of money so that's why I want to get into this further several years ago I met an exceptionally close friend of mine that I was that I had been stationed with at Ubon Royal Thai Air Force Base Thailand just prior to our move here um, let's see, it goes on. I joined the RAO Manila only to find out that he was, was the secretary and had been living in the Philippines for quite some time since his loss of his previous spouse and his retirement from the Air Force. Our rapport grew over time and we discussed many things that we had in common, like how, how to properly prepare our spouses for when the time comes for us to pass away. Now my close friend, and he gives the guy's name, and I were both working on what I call a three ring binder. Okay, this is an awesome idea. And we're always comparing notes as to, to what each of us had listed in our three rings binder. In time, we set up to meet with our wives in July 2016 for dinner, and only to be notified by his spouse prior to our flying up to Manila that he had passed away. Although our, our relationship ended with his death, it didn't end it didn't end with his wife as our friendship continued to grow to what it is today just like it would have been if the chief was still alive I did learn from his Philippine American spouse that after he had passed away she took his three ring, ring binder to the RAO Manila which these people assist veterans um, and and retired veterans sat down with her and handled everything flawlessly that the chief had set up for her think about that for a second and that's why like I like having our group because if something ever happens, we'll, these guys will help my girlfriend or help these guys' girlfriends or help them, just them. You know, if they pass away or if they get sick or something like that, that's the great thing about having, you know, a group of people in, like Tracy Materas and Das Marinas and, and uh, General Trias and the surrounding towns. Anyway, it, it says, um, she informed me if it wasn't for her husband sitting down creating a three ring binder, she might not have known whom to turn to. When she needed help most, today, we, my wife and I, remain close friends with his spouse. So I decided to take the time and explain what I have in the three ring binder that you may wish to copycat to a certain degree and add to in those items that may have been overlooked or don't apply to, to me, but do to, to uh, apply to you. Note, death always seems to come in an untimely moment, so it's always best to be prepared for the, un for the inevitable. Uh, as, let's face it, we are all going to die upon some point in our lives. Both myself and my current spouse were formerly widowed and, and know all too well what it's like when the love of your life suddenly passes away. Be it as something like, like a long drawn out battle with cancer or instantaneous heart attack, okay? But I initially, what I initially did was I purchased a three ring binder and, cre and created a cover sheet, inserting 
it into plastic do uh, document protected title what what to do upon my passing away sent it in the middle of a sheet of bond paper on the second and third pages as I listed what to do upon my passing away what a and then I put with a directory of contents on the next line um, sent it at the top of the page under under that I created tabs for each subject title listed alphabetical order okay however after I created my three ring binder several years ago I realized that I had left out what I I had created and that it is titled most important things to take care of first which is a list of things that most likely should be handled first as withdrawing money from whatever bank accounts that she may have to uh, to help her through the burial process note it's highly suggested that you have a funeral and burial insurance plan uh, like st peter's mortuary services they take care of everything and that is one less thing for the spouse to worry about now that's a good idea uh, i have sbli insurance but i'm actually thinking about going the route of st peter's also and buying that plan um, have the burial I'm gonna do the burial plan versus the um, the uh, cremation plan okay um, then instructing your spouse your, your, your spouse if she had never used a, an ATM in the Philippines how to withdraw money from your stateside financial institution using the debit card that she may or may not have used in the US okay now, that's pretty easy to do I mean it's just let me turn, turn the page here I'm sorry guys um, ensuring that she is aware of how to use a check register and how to ensure that she knows how to make sure that that she knows that there is plenty of money in a checking or savings account um, so when she goes to withdraw funds at her ATM debit card she'll have plenty of finances available in hand do so you really want to teach them how to check how much is in the account is what he's saying and you know just check do a um, a balance check or whatever in your account so and then contacting your financial companies credit unions banks etc with whomever you you both have accounts with to ensure that they are aware of your passing our credit union requires a small email with a copy of a de certified death certificate being provided to them um, since it takes a while to to get the certified death certificate here in the Philippines I have already contacted our credit union to see if they will accept a notarized copy until the certified copy is available for my spouse to present to them the same goes for insurance companies investment um, companies um, credit card companies former places of employment where you receive a pension check from to include dfas uh, defense financial finance accounting service social security vet veterans affairs to stop your va check if you are rated at 100 percent then your wife to uh, file an application for DIC okay death pension and or accrued benefits so she too will receive uh, a VA supplemental check until she, until she too passes away okay and then it it goes on saying contact in the US Embassy very important um, death of a US citizen you can apply online and do that uh, death of a US citizen is reporting death of an American who appears who will prepare a consular report of death of an American citizen abroad. Note, this document will assist the next of kin with legal matters that will arise from the result of death. Um, let's see. At each tab, I then present the actual companies with websites, sign-on names, passwords, email addresses. Notice he said passwords, too. That's important. Um, phone numbers, points of contact when dealing with each agency that I am, we are affiliated with. So there is nothing amiss after my passing. So your spouse will receive, receive whatever entitlements that she'll receive as a survivor until the time comes for her, her two to pass away. Um, one of the tabs I mentioned using faxzero.com as a way for your spouse to fax documentation for free. Okay, using your computer up to three pages in length and cover sheet maximum of five free faxes per day to whomever or pay $1.99 per fax PayPal uh, with maximum of 25 pages and optional cover sheet okay another tab mentions signing on the Manila VA websites using secure messaging to contact the patient advocate 
so he can get the wheels rolling at his end. Um, you can also copy and scan a copy of the death certificate if you have it and provide it to the patient advocate. Okay, another tab mentions, uh, let's see, wait a second. No, it says note, if you, if you have a living will as we do, I also made our attorney knowledgeable of the fact that my Philippine daughter-in-law should be made a point of contact to work with so she can contact the trustees if there's anything of importance they need to know to ensure that if they they can they can notify the correct companies of on the deceased spouse's behalf once it come comes time for the survivor to pass away and everything is shut down properly as you can see this will be a labor intensive project it says for yourself to perform but the rewards in the end is all that matters for your surviving spouse to move forward in life. That's a, that's a really, really good document. Um, somebody gave that to me a while back and I thought that was phenomenal because it had all the information in there and it pretty much covers everything and everybody's going to be different. So you have to kind of add your, your stuff to it, but you definitely want to have, you know, how to, um, I hate to use this word, dispose of the body or whatever, if you want it, you know, um, taken to sea and or your ashes spread over the beaches or you want to be buried somewhere in a cemetery with your, your cremated remains or you want to be um, have a regular Christian burial with a coffin and, you know, make sure you have all that stuff in place. It's very, very important that you have all this stuff in place because if you don't, you leave a mess behind. Man, I've seen, let's see, I think three people so far three people that have died here and each time it left a mess behind me because they did, had nothing ready. Nothing was ready. There was, everything was a mess. We had to call back home in, in, in one case and um, they had to take care of um, getting him buried and everything and pay for all the, the costs associated with it. And it was just a big disaster. And I've, I've seen another person here. He left his, his wife um, kind of in a mess. You know, um, they got him buried and she had to take up a collection to get him buried. And it's, it's just not a nice thing to do to people, you know, that care about you is to, to leave that mess behind. So make sure you take care of that before, before you pass away. And we know, you know, everybody thinks they're going to live forever. That's the problem. And these guys think, you know, I'll wait another five years. I'll do it then. I'm still young. You know, I've seen guys pass away at 62, 72. You never know when you're going to go. So just, just be prepared. Be prepared for that, guys. You know, be ready. Anyway, guys, God bless. Take care. I hope that helps. Um, you may want to watch it twice, this here, this video twice, because of the fact that there's a lot to cover in here. You might want to go back and, and, and watch it while you're preparing your, your three-ring binder. Anyway, guys, God bless. Take care.